My name is Aliza, and today I'm going to review the Logitech C270 HD webcam, as seen here. Let me first jump in to show you some of the technology that is incorporated in the webcam. There's something called right sound technology, which is currently muffling all the background noise, and I have now turned it off. So, right sound technology, that's what it's called, is now off, so you can probably hear some background noise, a little bit of static, and my voice also might sound a little bit different to you. I'm gonna turn it back on though because I like it on. I think I prefer the slightly muffled noise to the static noise that it would otherwise have. That's one of the reasons why I actually purchased a new webcam because my old Canon regular digital camera took video but it had a horrendous static noise that was bothering me so much. So hopefully this is better. The other bit of technology on the webcam is something called right light technology, which basically figures out the proper lighting settings that the camera should have. So I have just turned right light technology off. I have an overhead light on top and it's nighttime so there's no sun interfering or anything like that. And now I turned off the light so the only light that's coming is from the computer. <laughs> It's coming from the computer screen. You can't see anything. However, if I turn right light on, it made it a little bit more visible. But I'm going to turn my overhead light back on because that's clearer. So you can see things better. What you see here is the actual webcam. As you can see, it's pretty tiny. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that small, actually. And I think it's like got a really cool vintage kind of Victorian wallpaper-ish thing that's covering it. So that's... That's what it looks like. Overall, it's pretty decent. I got it for $20 on Amazon and there was free shipping. So the whole thing was just about $20, maybe $21 with tax or whatever. It's just kind of, it's kind of a step down for me in a way. Previously, I'd been using my sister's DSLR camera, which takes way better videos. The thing with that was that I couldn't take a video whenever I wanted because I had to go to her house for it. And I also started seeing horizontal lines on the video, kind of static lines, I don't know how to describe them. Um, if you know what I'm talking about though and you know what solves them, please let me know because I'd love to use that again. As is, I think I'm going to be using this, hopefully making more videos more often. I'm still not sure what I think about this webcam. I've seen different reviews online and sometimes I think I really like it and sometimes I think I really don't. So I'm a bit confused myself about it. Let me know what you think about it. If you think the sound is good, the visual quality is good, would you watch a video of me talking in this kind of quality? I don't know, that's pretty much it. That is pretty much everything I have to say.